What do you think the meaning to life is? Money. Um, <laughs> it's a tough question. <laughs> Last weekend, I flew to Boston to meet up with my YouTuber friends Nick White and Kenny Gunderman to ask some Harvard students about the meaning of life. Along with that, I also asked them some tips on how to stay motivated and disciplined. And their answers just might shock you. What is the meaning of life to you guys? <laughs> Um, <laughs> work hard, play hard, drink, sleep when you're dead. What, what is it? Sleep when, yeah, okay. sleep when you're dead. Yes. All right. What is the meaning of life to you? <laughs> um, to find your fullest expression of the reality of who you are and see it fulminate into its best version through your journey through life. It involves like uplifting one another and caring for one another. I think focusing on like what we have today is like shared humanity and like present humanity. And I think the meaning of life centers around like uplifting one another and like caring for the humanity in one another. How do you accomplish something like that? I think you have to be aware of what your strengths are and how you can apply them into the world and what it is that gives you joy and how that same joy can then be hopefully spread to others through you developing a skill set that can help other people. I don't think there is a meaning to life, low key. I think we're all just f***ing around, trying to figure it out, but I don't think we ever will. So you just decided to fuck around and go to Harvard? Dude. There is no meaning to life. Yeah, that's it. So do you give it some sort of meaning? No. So. Why work hard then? Why do well in school? What's the what's what's the point? Why not? So you think like life is just like whatever meaning you give to it. It doesn't come with let, let's say a predetermined meaning to it, right? I think you put it better than I ever could. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think I think everyone's just I don't know. Life is what you make of it. It doesn't really matter. Even though I tend to take things pretty seriously, I try not to because it's like in 60 years I won't really care. That's a fact. I think the meaning of life is just doing what makes you happy every day, no matter what anybody else thinks. If it makes you happy, that what your life's worth living. Yeah, just live life to the fullest, I guess. Like, do what you want. Build up those around you and, and support the everybody else that uh, you can, as well as make yourself happy, too. Meaning of life, uh, to, this doesn't sound cliche, but like to chase your dreams and do whatever makes you happy. Yeah. I guess like find your true passion and help other people while doing it. Well, personally, I think the meaning of life is to experience or like have lots of experiences to experience happiness, sadness, to, you know, strengthen our relationships with family and friends. And also uh, because I'm a Christian, I believe in God. So I believe that um, the meaning of life is to, you know, get to know God and to show our faith in him and continue getting to know him in this life. What do you think the meaning of life is? I think to, to better yourself every day, uh, whether it's in school, sport, uh, friends, just become a better, better version of yourself each and every day. How do you use that meaning to stay motivated and disciplined with your schoolwork, like on days where you really don't feel like doing shit? <laughs> How, what, what do you tell yourself or what are you, the usual things you do? I think if you find something that you like or find interesting, being disciplined kind of comes as a natural sequela because you enjoy doing it. And especially if you have the some form of an end goal in mind of where you want the application of your studies to go to, I think that also can kind of help inspire and motivate you to reach um, the conclusions that you want. Having a purpose behind your actions, you know, uh, yeah. an end goal you're trying to reach will yeah. help you stay disciplined. Like you always have like goals in life and like, yeah, it can get hard sometimes, but like you just kind of like think like if I keep going, like I'll keep working my way up to where I want to be. And I guess it just like motivates you to just keep going. I would say kind of like the same thing with work, even no matter how tough something gets, you got to get it done because at the end of the day, if you don't get it done, you're not getting paid. If you're not getting paid, you're not having fun. Money's a good motive. Yes. Don't let anybody tell you that money can't buy happiness because they're wrong. <laughs> I just argued that in a recent video. Really? <laughs> yeah. So really? that's good. I think that the best way to reach anything in life is to understand that there's going to be projects that you don't want to have to do, but you just have to do them anyway. And that no journey to success was paved in an easy 
uh, road and each one of those journeys had a bunch of obstacles in them. And I think I think if you want to do anything great, you get used to having to do things you don't like. Uh, so it's just like, all right, well, I do want to end up somewhere great, so I don't really mind that there are times when I'm doing stuff that I don't really want to have to do. I had a really tough day at school, not at school today, but like I just had a really tough day and it is tough to work, keep working hard. Like this week has been hell, but I just, I, I'm, I think of goals in terms of like six month increments. So like, I'm just trying to get through the semester, trying to have fun once the semester's over and then we have to start up again. And eventually when I'm like 22, I can just like chill out, but then I have to get a job, which kind of sucks. So it's kind of like thinking of small end goals that motivate you to like keep going. Oh yeah. Unlike a lot of students here, I feel like I don't have like a long term goal. Okay. I'm kind of just playing, playing it by year. A lot of people say it's by year. I say by year, but yeah, it's just like, around seeing what happens because I know like I change a lot so I can't expect my goals to stay the same as I like develop as a person. You know, as I was watching this back, I was trying to figure out what would help this young guy push through his difficult studies. And the only thing that I could possibly think of was the sponsor of today's video, Shortform. Shortform is the world's best guides to nonfiction books. They're like super powered book summaries. They're super detailed and they cover all the book's key ideas. What I've personally been using Shortform for is to read up on nonfiction books that I haven't read related to communication and relationships so I can get better at speaking and interviewing people in the streets for these videos. One short form summary that I'm in the middle of reading that's related to that is The Charisma Myth by Olivia Cabane. And in this book summary, she talks about how charisma can be developed and isn't a predefined trait in someone. And specifically, a charismatic person is someone who shows mindfulness, authority, and goodwill. Three genres I think you guys would really like are self-improvement, relationships, and productivity. If you'd like to get a five-day free trial, you can join Shortform using my special link, which is shortform.com slash Cole, or you can click the link in the description. How do you stay disciplined and motivated to do the work that you don't want to do, but you know will be good for you? Um, I call my parents and I remind myself like why I'm doing it. They're the ones that got me here. Um, talk to my friends back home pretty much motivate me through all the struggle that this is. Not to get too religious, but like I'm Christian, so I just think of like God's will and his plan for me and what my place in the world is for that. There is a difference between like intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. I think, yeah, if you're driven by like a deeper purpose, obviously you'll be driven to do hard things, but you know, even without that purpose, the example coming to mind is like, Right, like if you're caught in a riptide, like you will like fight for your life. But like when you get back to shore, it doesn't mean you like want to go like enjoy a riptide again, right? But like I think there are challenging things that press us and there are extrinsic things that like force us to do challenging things. School is my obviously my motivation. I know what I'm going to get at the end of this, but I think there's many other motivations in life obviously you know like again going back to bettering yourself every day i think that's a motivation that you can do each day and have in the back of your mind each day i think for me it's these four years of getting this in this particular moment but before this there was you know other factors that kind of that i pushed to get better at every day to get me to this moment obviously like we are on this earth for however long and like we do have a responsibility to ensure that others can live life the way it was intended to be. Is going to college worth it? I think it depends on what you want to do. Um, for me, I think it's worth it. And I think in time, it's pretty hard, but looking in the four, next four years and where I'm going to be, I think it is worth it. But I think it's a really subjective path that you want to take. Yeah, I also think it depends. Like, not everyone has to go to college in order to like achieve um, their like passions in life, but sometimes going to college does help with that. Is college worth it? Absolutely, I think so. I think so, I really do. I do. All right.